welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I am super excited to be here, y'all. Welcome back, happy new year. Y'all, that Omarion got me over the holidays, but I'm back, I'm on the mend. Excuse my congestion and I feel like I'm looking crazy, but I'm here and I'm so blessed. So, hey y'all, hey, welcome back to Check the Rhymes. Anyway, so I love a good vineyard winery, glass of wine, bottle of wine, you, you get the point. So I am so excited about this new show on OWN. It's called The Kings of Napa about a family owned vineyard, a black family owned vineyard at that. And it airs on Tuesday, January 11th. Again, that's on OWN at eight o'clock. And in the house today, I have Ebone Noel and Isaiah Whitlock Jr. We're gonna talk about what we can expect this season. Stay tuned. Good morning. Jamaica. Good morning. Welcome to Check the Rhymes. How are y'all? Good, good. Doing great this morning. Good. I'm super excited about this show. I've got my wine bottle ready to go so I can watch. <laughs> so, <laughs> Kings of Napa, tell us what the, what the show is about. Um, tell me about your characters. We'll start with you, um, Ebony. Oh, well, the show is about an affluent Black family who own a vineyard in Napa. And you see us go through um, a bit of a family crisis in the pilot as some secrets come out as a result of that. And the rest of the series shows us dealing with the ramifications of that crisis and those secrets. So you're going to see us fight over business. You're going to see us fight over family. You're going to see us fight together. Um, so, you know, and and love each other at the same time. There's a lot of love even with all that conflict. Uh, the <laughs> character I play, her name is August King. She's the middle child and the marketing whiz of the family. And as the middle child, I think she sort of assumes that, you know, if anything were to happen, that her brother, her older brother would sort of step in and run things. But as it happens, Papa has more trust in his baby girl. And so <laughs> she really has to step up into a leadership position right from the bat. And awesome. I play Reginald King. I play Reginald King. I'm the patriarch of the family. I'm the one who has put all of this together. Um, I'm uh, my, my main job is a surgeon, but uh, uh, I've got my side gig here, which I love, which is, uh, uh, making wine, running the uh, winery, and uh, and just pretty much enjoying life. That's pretty much where my character is right now. But we do have a family. There are some issues. Uh, what I love about the show is that we're not perfect. Uh, we're just human beings trying to make it uh, through to the next day. And uh, we get to see how everybody interacts, how they butt heads but at the end, how much we love one another. Now, did you guys go to any black owned um, vineyards or wineries? Cause I know that there's really not that many across the United States. There's probably, I think the last time I, I looked there was probably less than a hundred um, black owned vineyards or wineries. So did either of you do that? I didn't go to any, uh, I didn't go to any uh, black owned uh, uh, vineyards. Uh, I, I do make wine on my own, so I felt like I had a, a fairly good knowledge as to uh, how things go. I did one of the things I did notice was I, I did know about the difficulty of making wines and, and just how delicate it can be sometimes. Uh, so I kind of pretty much knew the ins and outs of it. Uh, but and I also knew that there was not, we did not know that much about African-Americans uh, uh, in the wine business. Uh, but mm -hmm. uh, I was happy to see that there were uh, quite a few and hopefully maybe someday I can join them. <laughs> I yeah, so. I'm just, just to piggyback on that, I was gonna say, I didn't get a chance to go to any um, black owned vineyards or any vineyards right before we started shooting actually, because we started shooting earlier 2021. So, you know, COVID sort of restricted um, travel and, and movement. But mm -hmm. I did listen to some interviews, do some research to sort of learn about the unique challenges that uh, black owned 
vineyard space sort of getting distributed and and getting product placement in this industry and mm -hmm. yeah and and then of course as a as a cast we did a bit of a wine school so we could just learn how a vineyard works and you know the different stages of, of making a bottle of wine you know so we could look like experts in the show <laughs> so of course i have to ask what is your favorite kind of wine to un unwind with <laughs> Hard to say, actually. Um, I love Barolo. I it's I'm a sucker for a glass of Barolo, so I'll stick with that. <laughs> there are many. But that's probably the top. I also love Italian wines, and uh, I'll go with uh, a Brunello. But uh, when when I say unwind with a wine, I would probably go with a, a Pinot Noir uh, mm -hmm. coming out of Central California. I, I think. Uh, that's the right balance. Uh, the Pinots in the Willamette uh, coming out of Oregon uh, have a tendency to be a little light. I don't mean to insult uh, that wine uh, because I think some of the wine there is, is outstanding. But uh, I think some of the Pinots coming out of Central California are uh, superb. Okay. So I got to ask this because I do a lot of music related interviews on, on my show. So when you're mm -hmm. drinking your favorite type of wine to unwind with, what are you listening to? What kind of old, let's go old school. What kind of old school music are you listening to? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I, I, usually, I usually put on Spinner's radio. And that okay. I can get the old, a lot of the a lot of the old jams uh, stuff, you know, the spinners coming out of Philadelphia, uh, a lot of um, I don't want to say real, you know, heavy funk, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm anything from the seventies. It has a tendency to take me to an area when <laughs> uh, I guess when life wasn't that complicated. I know mm -hmm. Ebene is probably saying seventies, my. God, how old are you? <laughs> Not, <laughs> Not at all. You know, Abe Lincoln was president, okay? <laughs> but, but that's what I that's what I prefer to listen to. Uh that really puts me in the mood. Okay, that's good. Wow. Uh, I would think if I'm gonna listen to some old school, I'll probably go with like Motown days if I'm trying, cause then I can dance around my house. I can have a good time. I can set a vibe. So, you know, I'm gonna wanna listen to some Supremes and some Temptations and some, just like the music of that era. I think my mom always used to play that when we were like cleaning the house. So when I think <laughs> of, you know, having a good time, just having a glass of wine, that's, that's the music I'm thinking of. If I'm going old school. Well, that, okay, that's, yeah, cause that's... I, I I was thinking That's Soul Train, problem. like listening to those type of artists. <laughs> yes, yes. That's awesome. Well, Isaiah, before we go, you got to do my favorite meme. <laughs> you got to do it. You got to do it for Check the Rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> and what might that be? Can you, can you sort of <laughs> fill me in a little bit on it? Uh, I tell you um, what, you do it first. If you do it first, I'll do it. <laughs> my my parents are watching. <laughs> they don't know I curse. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll get you off the hook and I'll say, she. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Good every time. <laughs> I love it. Yes. I love it. Thank you. Thank you both so much for joining me today on Check the Rhymes. The Kings of Napa premieres on OWN on Tuesday, January 11th at 8 o'clock. I cannot wait. Thank you both. Oh, thank you for having us. Thank you.